pronounce it correctly. Ali Gay. Ali. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Well, um, I guess just talk about graduation first off, and just your thoughts of you know reaching that milestone. I saw the photos. You had a lot of family mm -hmm. here to support you. So just what does that mean for you, and to kind of accomplish that and now push on with your seasons? It means a lot, man. Um, you know, it's been a long journey for me. Going from JUCO the two years, coming in here and just being blessed enough to come to the you know one of the greatest universities in the country. Um, it's a blessing, and you know to have my family come out and celebrate with me it was it just shows like the American dream for me and my family. That's what we came here for. So to be able to succeed and you know get to that level is just a it's a great blessing, and my family is proud and, and happy for me getting there. So you know I have nothing but thanking God for the opportunity that I've had to get this far. Yeah. Anyone else in your family have a degree, or are you the first? Uh, yeah, my, 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 my dad does, okay. you know, um, and I guess I'm the first to graduate in the state, so it's a blessing, you know, just to have that, hold that title yeah. my family. What did so, your parents think of that? Um, they were proud, you know, they were, you know, it's been a long time coming. Um, it's something that they wanted me to accomplish, so obviously I reached that, so hopefully I made them proud and, you know, happy um, to just have this title in our household. So, you know, so that's something we're going to talk about, and um, it's a stepping stone to, you know, more to come in the future. Yeah. What would you graduate in? Uh, graduated communications. Okay. So. Uh, let's talk about the football. How, how is fall camp going for you so far and, and along that defensive front that a lot of people are really impressed with? Fall camp is going great. Uh, I mean, every day is a, it's a stepping stone to growing. Every day we're growing. Um, each position group, each unit, um, we're all just growing every day, practice, you know, pushing each other. You know, every day is a competition. You know, com fall camp is all about, you know, who who's the, you know, best man for the job, you know. So every day we go out there, um, you know, we compete and pushing each other and making sure that you know, we're ready for that first week. Talk about that front a little bit, though, Mason, Jaqueline, just the guys that you're playing alongside and really creating havoc at the front. Those guys are having a really good camp, you know. Um, you know, that's my unit. So just being around those guys, you know, I lean on them just as much as I would want them to lean on me. Um, and I try to do my job as best I can to push them and, you know, bring them along. And they've came, came a long way. And um, now I feel like they've taken it into their own hands to, do, to go out there and, you know, do what they need to do. Um, but I have nothing but trust in them. and. Um, and I can't wait. I can't wait to ball alongside with them boys. So how excited are you to, to play after you know all the games you missed last year with the injury and everything, and rehab? And uh, I'm excited. You know, I have a lot to prove. Um, you know, I've, I've missed a lot of balls. So, you know, now for me it's just, you know, paying attention to the details and going as much as I can in the areas that I've, you know, lost reps in. So um, my job this camp is just to focus on, you know, each day, day by day, um, step by step, and just making sure that, you know, I'm pushing myself to where I need to be come game, game one. A lot has been written about the defensive line and how it can be a strength of the team, and there's so much talent there. Is there a fine line between, yeah, we believe that and confidence, and then reading your own? You know, Absolutely. Head? You know, we believe that um, because just the way we practice, the way we um, we attack each day, um, we know we're the, we're the best position group out there, so we try to hold ourselves accountable to that. So we push ourselves every day and practice like it and just show everybody else that's, you know, that's what we're about and that's the kind of mentality we're coming with. In particular, you and BJ coming off the edge, rushing right. quarterbacks. What, what can that mean to this team this year? I mean, you know, you've seen it since you know since we both got here. So um, I feel like each year we've grown, um, and each each day, um, you know, we go out there. You know, even though it's practice tempo, we still try to hold ourselves accountable to knowing that you know when we go out to the game, that's how we want to play. So we practice practice to that. But you know, me and BJ alongside each other, each on each corner, um, I feel like you know that's. That's something, that's something you want, you know, that's something you want on the defense. And, um, and I know I feed off of him just like I said, you know, he feed off, feeds off of me. So when I see him doing his thing, I look to my side, you know, okay, I was like, I got to, you know, I got to turn up a little bit, you know, I got to make sure, you know, I'm matching his energy just so, you know, we both, you know, bring, bring to the defense what we need to bring. So. You and Will Campbell had a little fun uh, a couple of practices ago. I saw yeah. John, John back and forth at each other. How good is he as a freshman and, and what is you going against him? How does it make him better? Um, you know, he's hungry, man, um, and I like that about him. You know, he's young, you know, um, but I like the fact that, you know, he's coming in, and, you know, acting like, you know, he's been here before. And um, I, like I said, I, do my, I do, do my best to, you know, push him, you know, even though there's a lot of talking going on, you know, that's all a part of practice. You know, I got to make sure when we go out to the game, he's going to face a lot more than that. Uh, I got to make sure, you know, in, in practice, he sees that. So when he goes out there, he knows, you know, I, I've seen it before, so I know how to act, I know how to play, and just, you know, play along to, you know, play on to the game, game tempo. Tell us a little bit about Miles as a teammate. Obviously, him stepping away from football is kind of new for us, right? Miles, man, that's my guy. Um, I love him to death, man. Um, you know, he did, he did what was best for him. You know, I support him 100%. He's a great guy. You know, whatever he chooses to do, 
Um, I have to, you know, I support him 100. percent So, you know, sad to see him go, but that's my guy. Let's talk a little bit about Jaden. Uh, we're gonna talk to him and Garrett today. Is Jaden a little more elusive? Is he hard to get to? Uh, I mean, you know, different different type of quarterback. But you know, I love I love I love the competition that he brings into the you know practices. So um, I think he gets us ready for you know even just Miles and us. You know, it don't matter who's in. So um, I think they both you know give us a different type of look um, in practice, and I, I really appreciate that because you know. We're gonna see a lot. We're gonna see a lot more of that in game. So, um, you know, we got we got some good guys. You know, who are ready to step up whenever. Ali, jo- uh, Josh, we went team one pod. Speaking of us, what separates him from Jaden? Maybe what, what what does each other uh, what does each of them bring to the table? I mean, they they both bring a lot to the table, man. Um, you know, very good quarterbacks, very talented. So, you know, I have nothing but the uh, but the best to say about them. So, you know. But we, we definitely got good guys, you know, ready to step up and, you know, lead a team. Do you feel like things are kind of tightening up? <coughs> Do you feel like, uh, you know, a lot of the installs kind of out of All the way? I can say is close, man. <laughs> it's close, so that's all I can say about the quarterback. Right no, I'm not talking about quarterbacks. Right. Uh, I'm just talking about on the defensive side. Do you feel like yeah. you kind of got a lot of the the technical part of it out of the way, the tactical part yeah. of it out of the way? No, um, we definitely bought into the, you know, the stepping stones, like, you know, all the all the words you see around here is, you know, it's all that coach talks about and that's all we're trying to cement into our brains and minds and, and we try to apply it every day we go out there for practice. So um, I think, you know, as a, you know, even yesterday we had a meeting about focus and, and that's one of the things we try to apply today in practice, which was, you know, just focus on the key details, you know, snap, you know, play, you know, refocus and then snap again, just trying to apply those, you know, in every, in every play that we you know we have in practice, so I think the the key thing that we focused on today was focus, and I and every day we go out that we have something that we try to get better at every day, yeah. as a team and individually. So um, I think that brings us together because we all know what our mission is, and we try to focus on that the best we can to try to accomplish it every day. Has, yeah. has Brian really kind of eliminated a lot of that clutter for y'all? And- oh, definitely. Um, you know, I think he's kind of narrowed it down to what our, our mission is and what our goal is. So, and he has a clear, you know, clear direction on how he wants to approach it. So I think it makes things easier for us, you know, to, uh, to attack it. What can you share on uh, Colby Dickerson who comes over from, uh, Richardson comes over from um, McNeese? Um, um, I, I really like the guy, you know, he's, he's a really, he's really good, you know, athlete. Um, I haven't watched too much of him, but I know like the much the most I've seen him is you know he's really attacking the practice really well. Um, I know he, the transition, you know, since he get, came in here, you know, they talked about it in the weight room. You know, he he really took it to account to you know gain more weight and put on muscle, and he's done a really good job with that. Um, and I know he's doing really well in practices as well. Um, but you know, me and him are starting to you know become you know a little a little more closer and talking with each other. You know, because when he came, he came, came out of nowhere. So once I started seeing him more and more, you know, we started talking and. You know, became close, and so I think he's really, you know, made the transition, you know, good for him. So you think there's a stigma that a guy from McNeese can't come down and shoot? You know, I mean, if you're a dog, you on ball. So it don't matter who you is. You know, it don't matter where you at. You know, dogs everywhere. So you just gotta find them, and you know, if you put them out there, if they on ball, they on ball. What would you say the identity of this defense is right now? Um, shit. I would say, you know, Coach uh, House says, you know, we gotta take the jugglers. So. Um, the mentality is, you know, we got to attack. We got, we got to be, we got to be tough. We got to be hard. Um, we don't care who you is. We don't care who you are. Um, we're gonna come at you the same as we're gonna come at with everybody. So I think the mentality is just, you know, attack, attack, really. What's the, question? What's the importance of the scrimmage Wednesday? Is it really important in terms of who's going to start and playing time and all that? Um, I wouldn't say that, but I just think it's an, an, another opportunity to, you know, compete and push each other and get each other better. So, um, you know, each day, each day, each practice, each scrimmage, is just another opportunity to, you know, show what you got, you know. Thank you. Appreciate you. Oh, my bad. <laughs>